so what are holes in semiconductors the holes if there are vacancies how they will contribute to the electric current in semiconductors what is it all about have you ever bothered about it have you ever worried about it stay tuned and watch the video till the end the concept of holes in semiconductors and the current due to holes will be clarified to you yeah here we go so in this video i'll explain the concept of holes at 0 degree kelvin all the valence all the electrons are there in the valence band no bond is broken no bond is broken there are no free electrons available in silicon it acts as an insulator okay yeah suppose this is a situation this is a silicon slab this line is a valence band energy level this is a conduction band so there is an energy band gap this is a forbidden band gap it's called so the electrons cannot occupy any of these energy levels so at 0 degrees kelvin there won't be any free electrons for silicon it acts as an insulator though no no free electrons so when electrons are going to the conduction band then only they will uh, contribute to the electric current now as the temperature increases some of the electrons in the valence band which are actually bonded with the, its neighboring atoms they will break the bonds and uh, the electron will go to the higher energy level to the conduction level say so suppose this electron has gone there and this also suppose gone there so three electrons have gone broken bonds and gone there so this is called the generation of electron hole pair so there will be a continuous generation and recombination of uh, carriers will be happening in the material and they will again recombine with this so another bond will be broken like this so there will be a continuous recombination and generation so the number of electrons present in the semiconductor slab per centimeter cube will be depending upon the temperature of that slab of semiconductor so there will be as many number of electrons as the number of holes in the holes are nothing but the vacancies here so when an electron is breaking the bond and going there it is leaving behind a vacancy an energy state vacancy in the valence band which is termed as a hole a hole is not a particle but it is a vacancy there are three vacancies so there are three holes in this and there are three electrons so there has to be three holes at any particular given time for a given temperature of the uh, semiconductor slab so for the silicon slab for example now these holes are the vacancies are treated as positively charged particles the charge of an electron is 1.6 in the power of minus 19 coulombs so the same charge is given to the vacancy also it is treated as a positively charged particle is a hypothetical particle but we'll see how they will contribute to the electric current so this generation of electrons and holes is not happening in metals where there is no forbidden gap the energy gap is not there in metals so metals the valence band conduction band are already merged so there are plenty of free electrons available in metals so there is no uh <coughs> generation of vacancies there all right so that i have explained in uh, another video uh the formation of energy bands now suppose you have a semiconductor slab like this silicon now i'll connect this semiconductor slab through a metal both sides are connected to a metal and uh, i have connected this to a battery through a wire through a wire 
so wire I'm showing as a pipe there and there is a battery connected so battery is having a positive terminal and a negative terminal so this is a battery this is positive this is negative okay so this is positive here negative here. now let's see what will happen as i said when there are no free carriers no current so there are uh, for a particular temperature so it has generated three carriers in this three electrons simultaneously three vacancies are there in the valence band okay so valence band, band is full of electrons but uh, they are bonded with uh, to their respective atoms they are not free to move so only when they go to the conduction band level higher energy level they are free to move okay so when uh, there is uh, when you connect this through a metal line so metal lines are having lot of uh, free carriers you know uh, that is electrons lot of electrons are there so let me put some electrons here like this okay right again even in the metal also the number of uh, depends uh, electrons per centimeter cube has to be same a uh, fixed at a particular temperature they are available as soon as you connect it to a voltage source there the potential difference is there there is a movement of charge carriers how they will move the electrons are negatively charged so they will be uh, now if within the semiconductor this electron will be attracted towards the positive terminal of the metal line here so it will go there when this electron has gone there there are only two electrons here so but uh, at a given temperature they have to maintain three electrons and three holes the number of holes in electrons have to be same so where from the electron come immediately it will be supplied from this okay so one electron has gone from there so and they will be moving this way so electrons are moving that way in the conduction band so now here also these vacancies will not remain like that they also when uh, one vacancy is there that means one bond was broken one electron has left its uh, parent atom mm, family and it has gone to the conduction band high energy so now this uh, vacancy will not be remaining like that so they will attract uh, they will be attracting the nearby electrons so this electron may be breaking the bond and they'll uh, find a vacancy nearby and they may go there like this okay and now the hole here has moved from here to there now this may break and go there similarly this may break and come here so like this the other one may break and come there and this may go there this may come and so now the hole which is there there here it is moving from here to there from here there to here like this like this like this it has come up to here up to here and then it will it may break like this like this like this like this like this and uh, meanwhile i know one electron also may be generating there so that also may go from there to here like this like this like this like this so the from the hole to move from there you know from this point to that point it has to come across so many the hurdles you know there are four holes here so so now this hole the one electron may come from the outside the metal wire and that will fill this okay so there are three holes maintained here all right and one electron may be generated again and uh, sorry one electron from this may go from here to there nearby you know there are four holes here so again this will move from there to maintain that so generation is also happening and movement of electrons is also happening in the semiconductor and this will come and fill this okay so within the balance band the movement of holes 
is from left to right that is towards the negative terminal here actually hole is not a particle okay the movement of electrons in the valence band to fill the gaps listen carefully the movement of electrons within the valence band to fill the gaps which are nothing but holes is treated as the hole current why because the holes are appearing to be moving from right to left okay the whole charge is same as that of the electron charge but we can see we have seen that the movement is not as fast as the movement of electrons in the conduction band for the holes to move from left to right in the valence band they have to pass through so many sites and it is not free actually it is all crowded so they have to you know they will be moving slowly there so the current is nothing but the rate of flow of charge so that means uh, the number of holes crossing a particular uh, area per unit time is less compared to the number of electrons passing through a particular area uh, which are in the connection band this energy level okay this is energy i'm talking about the y axis is energy here it's not a spatial uh, distribution is energy so these high energy electrons are free to move they are moving very freely the mobility is uh, high it's called the mobility okay so the whole mobility is less do you understand the whole mobility is less here why because the holes uh, to fill the holes the electrons are actually they are zigzag motion very closely spaced and um, they have to you know pass so many hurdles so eventually they will be moving slowly thereby giving less current okay so that is called the whole current in this the electron current whole current is nothing but electron current only in the valence band okay the electrons basically in the metal if you see only the electrons are there there is no concept of holes over there okay the current in this circuit the current in the circuit so this is a current right i so the current is basically due to the movement of electrons in the outside the, of the semiconductor but within the semiconductor also is actually the movement of electrons in the valence band which is treated as the whole current the movement of holes and uh, the movement of electrons in the conduction band is actually uh, treated as a electron current in the semiconductor okay so basically you know i think i have clarified this to you i have uh, sold you the idea the fact that uh, the whole current is nothing but electron current in the valence band the electrons which are filling the gaps holes in the valence band are contributing to the current and which is treated as dot of the whole current holes are nothing but vacancies as though they are moving from positive terminal to the negative terminal the movement of second point is the movement of uh, these vacancies is slower than the movement of electrons which are there in the high energy that is in the conduction band so that is where the mobility of holes is less than that of mobility of electrons and semiconductors i hope it is clear to you and in in the metals there is no concept of uh, holes uh, the holes the concept of holes only comes in semiconductors and in insulators like silicon dioxide or any other insulator the energy band gap is very large that uh, no free carriers will be generated and uh, no carriers are available for the conduction of electricity there also holes will be there but a little very 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 little and they will not contribute to any current see you in the next video